So I remember it was a Sunday morning. I was sitting alone in my living room and I just kind of laid back on the couch and uh, had my eyes closed and I know I didn't fall asleep, but I opened my eyes and standing at the foot of the couch was this man in a robe. I, I suddenly realized what's going on and this is actually a real encounter that I'm having with Jesus. Jesus is standing in my living room in Kansas City um, and I'm, I'm just, this, this peace just comes over my whole body and I can't move. And I knew exactly who he was. I knew exactly what was happening, but I was still in this state of what is going on? Why is this happening? And I knew I wasn't sleeping because I could still hear my stereo playing. And so he's standing at the foot of my couch and he's just smiling at me. He doesn't say a word. He's just smiling at me. And just the biggest smile. He was so happy to be there with me. Um, I remember he had like shoulder length light brown hair, he had a beard and a mustache. He was actually pretty short compared to what we you know, think of. He had a white robe, he was barefoot. And um, he comes around to the side of the couch and he puts his right arm under my back and he puts his left arm under my legs and he lifts me up off the couch. And um, he stands me up in the middle of my room. I'm basically putty in his hands, I, I, I can't move. And he comes around behind me and he puts his hands over my eyes like this. And all of the, he takes them off, and all of a sudden, we are no longer in my living room. And he's, he's holding me like this. His arms are around me like this. And um, we're flying over this massive city. The beauty of the city was absolutely astonishing. It was just it blew my mind. And the whole time, it was so real to me. I knew I wasn't dreaming. I remember feeling the wind in my face as we were flying over the city. I remember... Um, he was he, he was pointing at certain things around the city for me to look at. He didn't he still didn't say anything, but he pointed at certain things. And I remember everything that I saw was made out of gold and silver and precious gems. And um, I remember seeing the streets weave through the cities. It looked like just golden threads were weaving through all the buildings. Um, and I remember seeing there was a, a huge wall all around the city. And I remember there were three entrances on each side. And there was actually a pulsating musical rhythmic sound that was emanating from the city. It was so beautiful. And as we were flying around and his, his arms were holding me like this, I remember looking down and seeing his arms. And I remember seeing his skin. And I remember seeing the hair on his arms. And I remember seeing his fingernails. And I remember going, oh Jesus, you're a human. You're a man. And in that moment when I realized his humanity, it made me feel more than, more than being captivated by the beauty of a place, I was actually invited into a love that I had never felt before in that moment. And the love that I felt in that moment far surpassed the emotion that I felt when I was looking at the city. It was probably about 40, 45 minutes, it felt like. And he put his hands over my eyes again. And he took them off and we were all of a sudden he was holding me again in my living room in Kansas City and he, he laid me back down on the couch and he put his hand on my chest and as soon as he put his hand on my chest I, I, looked, in, I looked at his face and I looked into his eyes and he, I saw tears starting to well up in, the, in, in his eyes and he looked at me and he said I'm so sorry it's the first time he ever sp he spoke to me the whole time he goes I'm so sorry I have to go he just looked at me and he was smiling still, but tears started to come down his face. And, um, and he looked at me again and he had his hand on my chest and he said to me, he goes, I'm so sorry, I have to go. I, I remember I just got this burst of energy, this, that peace had left my body. I got this burst of energy. I sat up on my couch and I said, no, Jesus, come back, come back and be with me. Just stay with me, please. Just stay with me, stay with me, come back. I just kept saying it over and over again, come back, come back. And he actually stopped in his tracks and I saw he was, his back was towards me at the time and he, he stopped in his tracks and I saw his head collapse and he just began to weep and he ran back across the room and he put his hand back on my chest and he looked right in the eye he looked me right in the eye and he said I'm so sorry I have to go and I just had that peace come back into my body again like yes oh the, the pain of the separation is so real but Jesus you're worth I will wait for you and that's the heart behind the song I see him.